Hi, my name is Vanessa and I am the owner of Avancy Bridal. Um, at the time that I'm recording this video, we are halfway into year three of being in business. And one of the most commonly asked questions that I get from a lot of people is what made you want to open up your own bridal boutique? And that is a fun story and one that I'm going to share with you right now. So I have always had a passion for bridal. And I mean, girl, like obsessed with bridal. When I was little and even growing up, I always thought that I was gonna be a wedding planner. And I would go online and search for universities where you can get a degree in wedding planning. That's not a thing. Um, <laughs> so I went to school and after I graduated, I thought, you know what, there's nothing stopping me from working with a wedding planner, even just as an intern, just to get my toes in the water and to get a feel for the industry. Well, it was an awesome experience. I quickly learned though that wedding planning was probably not for me. I still love the industry, I still love brides and weddings and the dresses, but I thought maybe it's time for me to find my own unique venture into the wedding industry. So I got engaged and while I was planning my own wedding, I actually started working with one of the vendors that we hired for our wedding. So this is Serendipity Cinematography and they are a videographer here in Arizona. And I absolutely loved every aspect of working with them. So I worked as a video coordinator and I loved the owner, I loved the weddings that we got to film, I loved the films that we got to experience after, and I thought, oh my gosh, I'm the luckiest girl to be able to experience this on the weekends. Um, so after I got married, my husband and I decided, my husband and I decided, I mean, I kind of decided and encouraged him to travel. And I don't mean like a two week vacation in Italy, I meant like I wanted to pick up and move for a year. Um, I knew that I had big goals and I knew that if there was ever a time to travel, it was gonna be this. So we also learned that traveling is not cheap. So I, while still working my full-time job and working with Serendipity, found another part-time job working for a large retail bridal boutique in Arizona. And I loved that too. But that's when I really learned that working with the brides and getting to help them say yes to the most important dress that they're ever gonna wear is what I loved. Like, I was good at it. I loved connecting with the brides. I loved meeting her friends and family. I loved being surrounded by lace and sparkle and pretty dresses. I mean, who wouldn't, right? Um, while I was working there, I got a lot of, well, I had a lot of time to kind of Form, form these ideas in my head of what I would do differently. Like how, how could I make the experience for this bride better? Like how, how can I create an atmosphere that condones the ability to have fun and to express yourself and help them find the dress that they were about to become a wife in? Um, but I also learned that there were a lot of different ways that we can create a better experience for these brides. Like, girl, you're looking for your wedding dress. This is a big moment. And I, I envisioned this space where a bride was allowed to have fun and her tribe was allowed to laugh and experience lots of different emotions that come with shopping for your wedding dress. So I thought, you know, like, what, what if I open up my own bridal boutique? Like, what if? And then I was like, nah, that, that's not gonna happen. Like, I love weddings, but it, is this really what I love? Um, that, that was an, an interesting term to come to terms with, you know, because it's I loved weddings, but I didn't know that I was literally gonna love working with brides and dresses and being surrounded by lace and sparkle and tulle. So after my husband and I left the US, we traveled Europe for a year, um, which was an awesome, awesome experience. But I was constantly, get, like if we were on the train, um, I was like on Pinterest or on Instagram looking at different bridal boutiques and looking at the styles and still obsessing over weddings. Like, girl, I'm surrounded by this amazing ar architecture, but my mind is still like, oh, I wonder what kind of bride brides they have here. Like, what are the styles in Italy? Or what kind of wedding venues are there? Um, so my mind was still on bridal. So after we got back, I'm like, okay, th this is it. Am I gonna commit? Am I gonna sit down and plan this? Or am I gonna go back to my corporate job in marketing? And I was terrified. I had never owned a business before. I don't even have a business degree. I didn't go to school for that. So I 
started a fancy bridal. It's weird. I, you know, started a business on the couch in my PJs and I didn't know what I was doing. But I did a lot of research and I knew that I had this huge passion for it. And that if I worked really hard, I can, I can make my dream come true. And that leads me to here. We are halfway through year three of officially being open for business. And it's been an incredible, incredible adventure. One of the biggest compliments that I get from my brides is, I can tell that you have a passion for this, that you love what you do. You must wake up in the morning absolutely excited that you get to come into the store. And they're right, and I absolutely love when I hear that because I love hearing that you can see my passion for this, that you can tell that I absolutely love what I do. So while I'm still building a fancy bridal, um, we didn't actually have our store, like our physical location yet. So I distinctly remember the very first time that UPS knocked on the door and I got my first dress delivery. Like, girl, it was my living room. Um, my husband was so over it by that point because our entire guest bedroom was just like head to toe boxes of dresses that I couldn't even open yet. But it was it was so exciting because I had done so much work and boom, my first box was here. Like somebody's wedding dress is in this box. I don't even know who's yet. Um, but it, it was an amazing experience. And once we were able to get the keys to our actual location, and I remember it distinctly, uh, we picked up the keys on my husband's birthday. So anytime that we celebrate his birthday, I kind of have a little mini celebration of the first day that I got the keys for Avancy. And it was, it, it looked completely different than what it looks now, what it looks like now, excuse me. But it was so fun getting to design this space and explaining to people like, okay, this is where I'm gonna put like this green stuff on the wall and people are gonna take their, I said yes to the dress picture here. And then I remember the contractors are like, you're, you're putting, I'm sorry, you're putting grass on the wall? I'm like, no, it's gonna be this like pretty ivy and brides are gonna say yes. I'm like, no, it's just a waste of space. But, but that's okay. I mean, we love it, right? It, it's okay if, if they didn't understand it. So Vancy Bridal is open. We are officially open for business. Oh my God. <laughs> that's, that's exactly how I felt. A mixture of excitement and fear and oh my God, I did this. <gasps> what do I do now? Um, it, it was crazy. I mean, I was 27, I think, when I, when I opened up my, my first business and it's crazy, but I, I distinctly remember my very first bride, the very first bride that said yes. First of all, the very first bride that said yes was my cousin in my living room. Um, and I opened a box and we were in my guest bedroom and she was trying dresses on, but I mean like my first real bride at the store. I was so nervous after she said yes. I started bawling my eyes out. She was crying too, but I was bawling my eyes out because I'm like, oh my God, I, I picked this dress. I remember picking this gown thinking, holy cow, this is gorgeous. And she had that same reaction. And so did her friend. And she said yes. And I was like, oh, I made a sale. What do I do now? I called my husband and he like walked me through the process. He's like, you know what to do. Anyway, I have then had hundreds of brides that have experienced this amazing moment in my store. I have hand-picked every single one of the maybe 350 plus dresses that have been in my store at one point with my brides in mind. Isn't that crazy? Like I, I pick a gown and I, and I try to visualize the kind of woman that's going to be wearing this. I pick a gown and I think, oh my god, I'm going to bring this into a fitting room one day and I'm going to have a bride just see her face light up and her eyes fill with tears and her family members just get this oh my god feeling that if you're watching this and if you've said yes to your dress you can kind of relate to it and it's it's such an emotional process for me that it brings me so much joy so the dresses that i have in my store i try to visualize the kind of bride that is going to be wearing these dresses and it's really fun because there's a process that goes through a gown actually making it into the store so one of the things that people don't really know about the bridal industry and something that as 
bridal boutique owners we experience. Um, it's it's bridal market, so fashion week. Um, about twice a year, we get to go, um, just depending, like Chicago or New York, many different locations, to see the new collections that our designers are releasing. So for like the fall collection or the spring collection. And once we're there, we have to pick a couple of styles that we want to bring to our store. And it's cool because when I'm there, one, it's super awesome. Like I'm surrounded by people that are also obsessed with bridal. And I get to see these new styles that I've never seen before. Okay, so when I'm there, I try to think about the women that are gonna come into my store in a couple of months. And I see a dress and I'm like, can I can I picture somebody saying yes to that dress in my store? Like is, is somebody gonna say yes to this dress that I'm looking at right now on a model on the runway? Is she gonna get married in that dress? Is she gonna become somebody's wife in this dress? Are moms gonna be sitting in my store dabbing their tears because their daughter looks amazing in this dress? And if it's a no, it's not coming to my store. But if I get teary-eyed just thinking about somebody getting teary-eyed, I'm like, girl, I need that dress in a size 12 right away. I love owning my own store. I love that I created a space that allows my brides and her friends and her family to feel welcome and comfortable. A, a space where they're allowed to laugh and have fun and experience the many emotions that come with finding your forever dress. It's, I, I'm so honored. Um, I feel like a bride will come in and it's a secret, the kind of dress that she got. No one can know. But I'm like, I just met you an hour and a half ago, and I, I know exactly what you're going to wear. I feel so privileged to be part of that little secret, you know? And I, and I love when I pick a gown for a bride after she's tried on a couple of dresses, and I get to be the one to bring that dress into the fitting room and say, just trust me. Just try it on. The worst that happens is that you don't like it. And I love when I zip her up, and she's like, oh, boy. Oh boy, because she knows that this is different, that this is a feeling she hasn't experienced yet. I love opening those curtains and seeing the reaction of her friends and her family when they see her in this gown. I love seeing this transition of where she goes from a friend and a fiance to a wife, like you're a bride. You're gonna get married in this dress. You're becoming somebody's wife in this dress. You're gonna become someone's long life partner in this gown. You're gonna walk down the aisle, you're gonna get married, you're gonna share your vows and commit your love and your life to someone. I always think that the biggest and the most amazing accessory that a bride can have is happiness. And I love creating that at a fancy bridal. And I love sharing that passion with my brides and everybody that steps through these doors. That's why I do what I do. And it's honestly been just a huge passion of mine and I'm so blessed that I get to do what I love every single day. And I get to share that with the employees that I have, the brides that come through the door, my future brides. Girl, if I ever have kids, they're gonna be part of it too. I don't care if they're a boy. No, that was dumb, don't put that in there. <laughs> and it doesn't even end there. I mean, I follow my very first bride on Instagram, and I know that she's since then had a baby, and many of my brides, I get to see their transition of, okay, you were a bride, and now you're a wife. And I love sharing those big moments with them. I've seen so many of my brides share with me that they're having a baby, or that they're moving, or that their sister's engaged, and now it's her turn to come in and become an fancy bridal bride. What a huge compliment that is. I love it, I absolutely, love it and I hope that hearing my story kind of gives you a good insight of who I am and why I opened up my own store and if you ever want to come and experience the fun in finding your forever dress at a fancy bridal. <laughs>